You've all seen those awesome collaborations held by other creators. And you all loved shooting and slaving and exploiting your pals in the greatest game of all time. So now it's your chance to be involved in one of the largest, most epic projects that the world has ever seen. Introducing Palabo, the biggest Pal World collab ever. I've teamed up with Pocket Pair to give all of you amazing artists out there the chance to have your designs featured in the game. We're looking to add a total of 1,025 new pals, where each and every pal is created by a different artist. Fake pals, right? What a great name for a totally original concept! Each fake pal in our pal decks will have a prompt with a set typing and work skill, but outside of those, you're free to let your creativity flow and create whatever you want. Once we make enough progress, all of the designs will be added into the game as epic DLC! We're in talks for a movie deal, sequels, spin-offs, plushies, NFTs, cryptocurrency… It's gonna be super ethically questionable, but very epic. Do I know 1,025 fake pal artists or have any experience in organizing huge collabs? Of course not, but why should that stop me from running the biggest pal world collab ever? Why am I doing this? Because it's topical and I love clout. But also, of course, I want to celebrate the pal world community and give exposure to all of you guys. Remember, this is all for you, not for my benefit. I'm not creating this for exposure or money, just have a bunch of far more talented artists do all of the work for me. Your artwork will be featured in my videos and I'll be uploading 10 designs every two weeks. And to compensate these amazing artists, each participant will get 10% of that video's ad revenue. And if my stats are anything to go by, that'll be a whole two dollars! Wow! If you join the official Palabo Discord server, you can send in an application to be an artist on the project. These applications will be reviewed by me and my council. To see if you're worthy of joining the project. Who is on said council? Well, I'll never reveal the identities of my council, nor show any proof that they have any business critiquing or judging the artwork of others or that they are even real at all. Sometimes I can just invite artists to the project willy-nilly, and if I mess up, I can just blame the council. It's foolproof. You can't draw? No problem. You can try shape studying by tracing official Pokemon art, or pay me $100 for a one-on-one -on -one tutorial in an area that I'm not even nearly an expert on. After all, you have to consider that everyone learns differently. Can't afford it but still want to take part? No problem! Just head over to any of the countless AI generators and type in some awesome buzzwords instead of trying to do any form of artistic expression yourself! After all, we all know that art is an entirely skill-oriented medium. It's better to not even try if you can't do it. And if you're not gonna commission an artist, you might as well commission a computer. Amazing! If you're already an established creator, expect to get one of my Ruby tickets. This will automatically guarantee you a spot in the project. However, some of the fake pal prompts are gold, which means you can only get them if you are offered a gold ticket. These are reserved for massive creators whose involvement with the collab will greatly benefit me and trick others into thinking that this project is any merit and resulting in it growing exponentially. Oh, and best of all, I'm gonna get Ron from True Green 7 and Jack from Subjectively to design the box legendaries! Hang on, just wait a fucking second. Who the f is this guy? I mean, I haven't contacted them yet, but why would they refuse? Now that I mentioned them in the announcement trailer, the ever-building expectations and persistence from their audiences who are tricked by this trailer will definitely have them come on board, right? Don't worry, all you haters. Don't get your salty gamer dicks in a knot. We can get this project to work. Make sure that you actually click on and watch the videos, as the thumbnails will contain intentionally incorrect information in order to boost engagement through the comments. <laughs> Sometimes I put obvious mistakes in my videos for that exact reason. We've already gathered a fantastic team of artists to help out on this amazing project, and we hope to get you on board too! Of course, I'm gonna cherry pick artists based on absolutely no discernible criteria. Even if they display incredible artistic talent, I could easily create something better than me! Why? Because all of these rules are completely arbitrary and made up, and I can decide whatever I want with absolutely no consequences! It's not like assembling an entire team of professional artists and then disrespecting all of their opinions and introducing AI shenanigans could backfire. I mean, there's absolutely no way that this project could implode due to mismanagement and me absolutely taking the piss, right? Right? 
Thank you to my wonderful patrons. And to my mega patron, Plub Cole. It's very much appreciated.